Hello and welcome. Today we're going to set up a Raspberry Pi Pico for development on Mac OS. So let's get started. Let's begin by opening up a terminal window. First thing we're going to do is install the tool chain and we're going to make use of brew for that. So brew install CMake. So install CMake. Once that's done, we need the next command, which is brew tap, and we need the embed homebrew formula. And when that's done, we'll install the ARM um, GCC that's the C compiler. Once that's done, we're ready to clone the Git repo. For that, I will go into my root directory and make a folder for this demonstration, which I will call Pico. And I will change into Pico and then git clone the repo. Now that doesn't clone the entire repo. So I'll have to go into the folder and run git sub module. Once that's done, you'll need to find the path of your SDK. And you can do that using print working directory. So in this example, you can see my path printed out. Now what you want to do is set up an environment variable called Pico SDK path. And to do that, what you want to do is edit your bash profile. So this command will open up your bash profile and you can then navigate to the bottom of the file. You'll notice that I already have a Pico SDK path, but if you don't go ahead and just type export Pico SDK path, and then the entire path that you got from uh, running the PWD command on your command line. And I used nano. Uh, with nano, you can just use control O to save your file and control X to exit. The environment variable will not take effect immediately. So you're going to need to run another command or close your terminal and open it again. But you can run the source command and it will read through your bash profile and load up all changes. Now, again, recall where you are, you're in the Pico SDK. The next thing you want to do is get examples. And to do that, go back one step in your directory structure. So cd dot dot, and then clone. Once you've done this, you're ready to configure an, an IDE of your choice. Let's start by looking at CLion. CLion is an IDE from JetBrains, and you can get a trial version, or if you have a license, you can go ahead and get a licensed copy. I have a copy of CLion, so I'll open it up. Once you have CLion open, 
you can then go ahead and open the examples which we fetched from GitHub. Once you have your IDE open, what you want to do is navigate to the examples folder. And I have two versions of that. So there's one that I have in the Pico folder that I created, and this is Pico examples. And I can open that. So you'll get this prompt to trust an open CMake project. And so what you definitely want to do is trust it. Um, and then you can go ahead and click on trust. And so you can open it in this window and give it a few seconds. Now, if you look to the bottom, you'll find the progress bar. It's down here. And you can see what's going on. Now, the next thing that you'll need to do is configure CMake. And to do that, you need to go up to the C Lion menu item. And then Click on Preferences. Next, open up the Build, Execution, and Deployment section, and click on CMake. Now, in here, you can go ahead and specify your Pico SDK path similar to what we did in the environment variable. Now, if you would like to, you can go ahead and create a release profile, but I'll just leave the debug profile. So notice that it's loading up again at the bottom. Give it a few seconds. Once that's done, you can go ahead and click on CMake at the bottom and take a look at the output. And because we've got finished here and no errors, it means that the ID was successfully configured. At this point, you're ready to go ahead and build any of the projects that you're interested in. You can do that either from the build menu here or by selecting one of these, one of the projects here and building it. Typically the hello world for microcontrollers is Blink. So I'll go ahead and pick on Blink. And once I do that, I can use the build button on the left to build it. And at the bottom of the screen, we have an output. And once we see this build finished, we can go ahead and track down our firmware. So we're going to have to go to Pico examples, open that up, and you see this CMake build debug. And we can open it up. And we can open up Blink, and we have all of the files that we need. So what you need to drag to your Pico is this Blink.uf2. And at this point, your IDE, which is C-Lion, is ready for use.